Hi guys, it's Taff. Welcome to Farming Simulator 2013. Here we are, finally. Uh, we're going to do a Farming Simulator series. Um, depending on the popularity, may continue it beyond uh, the point where Agricultural Simulator is back online. But until then, we'll definitely be playing Farming Sim. Uh, and as I say, if it's popular, then we'll continue to play on. So. Let's have a look, shall we? We've got career mode. Let's start a career. Start. Let's go hard. Now, I've downloaded a couple of mods. So we can do the, the bog standard Hagenstead map. We can do the more realistic, which um, I know I had a, a couple of calls to do a more realistic version of Hagenstead. So I've downloaded the more realistic mod, which basically uh, reduces the... Um, the cost of grain and things like that so we get less for each harvest and uh, we get more realistic starting equipment um, and everything is going to be obviously a bit more of a struggle to upgrade as we go along so it's going to be you know a real not not struggle but it's going to be a, a more of a challenge uh, so that is one option or we have the old brook map which is done by the OEB modding team which looks absolutely stunning um, but you know you start off with a lot of equipment um, but on the plus side of that you do get to do pigs as well there's a little pig farm on there which is pretty cool so I'll let's start with the Hagenstead more realistic one because that's what's been called cried out for but I'll do an episode on this but if you prefer to have a look at the old brook map let me know and we'll start an old brook map next time rather than doing the Hagenstead more realistic one okay uh, yeah too, too many choices I know so let's start more realistic. Start your career now and discover the numerous fields and activities of a modern farmer. In this game mode you are completely free to decide the task you want to pursue. Do you want to purchase new fields and expand your farm? Do you want to increase your livestock? Or do you want to invest in hard earned cash in new machinery? All three please. The decision is yours. Okay, with the right amount of skill and diligence you can soon become one of the most successful farmers across the country. Dive straight into the multifaceted world of agriculture. Okay, let's go. Boom, here we are. The standard. Um, okay, yeah. We, oh, we have to let's get this. Oh, we didn't get it. There we go. Horseshoes. Now, in case you don't know, the horseshoes are just like a little collectible item which you can go around and um, collect, clearly. Uh, there's no. Well. I said there's no real benefit. I have done that on my other computer. I did collect all 100 horseshoes. And what you get, basically, you get a little message saying, oh, you're not feeling very lucky today. Uh, and you think, oh, great, that was worth it. Okay. Okay, that's going to keep that little icon. I'm just going to clear the icons as we go. Uh, so, yes, the horseshoes, yes, you'll get a uh, the message, as I said, saying you're not feeling very lucky today. Maybe you'll feel lucky in the future. So that's the the straw barn, this is the fuel. Um, and then when it rains, the next when the rain stops you get a rainbow and if you drive to the end of the rainbow you'll find a pot of gold and depending on what level of difficulty you are uh, is the amount of gold will be in that pot. So it's a bit of a cheat so I won't bother collecting them uh, for this one. So this is the chickens. This is the silos. Oh, these are the silos and this is the um, where we pour the grain in to uh, store it in the silos. I'm just going to unlock all these little um, question marks just in case you haven't seen this game before or haven't looked at this farm which you know well if you've played this game you've played this this farm scenario anyway. This is where we store our sugar beet and our potatoes. This is where the uh, the seeds are kept and that question mark over there in the in front of us is the fertilizer tank Oh, almost there. Boom. Okay. We've cleared them down nicely. So this is our starting equipment. We have an Explorer 105 with cab. Um, we have a front weight of a, a, an oil drum and a, a normal front weight. We got another um, Argon 75 little tractor here with our tipper trailer, basic cultivator, basic plow and basic sprayer. Uh, and we can use the tab to cycle through them. We've also got this little, this little, what, what is this? Uh, this is a Kramer KL200 with a, um, a C, an Amazon, Amazon D1 Cedar on the back as well, which is pretty cool. So that's, yeah, that's fine. We can keep that tractor for now and we can use like hired help to use that because that's going to be slow as heck. Um, so they are the three tractors we have. 
And we've also got this um, far basic combine. And we've got some wheat in front of us. Now, if we have a quick look at our map, what do we have? Ah, field 16 is the only field we own at the moment, which is the one in front of us, which has got um, wheat in it. So let's... Uh, oh, my goodness, I can't remember the... V, lower... B, there we go. Oh, it's such a... Um, it's been such a long time since I've played this game. Okay, we're harvesting away. Fantastic. As you can see, compared to with... Um, can we go a little bit faster? Yeah, there we go. Compared with um, Agricultural Simulator, you can see how much smoother it is. Or how much more stable this engine appears. I know it's not as detailed, you could say, but... Um, yeah. It's 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 such a smooth and well optimized engine in this game, and and the mods, you know, they very rarely crash it as well because the mod standards these days are fantastic. Um, the mods I'm using, I will put in my Dropbox, and I well, I'll sort my Dropbox out this weekend, probably Sunday night, uh, and in that I'll put the mods I am using for this, the mods I'm using for Euro Trucker, and 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 I will also. Um, put the mods I will use for the next series of B17 in Dropbox, so you can um, you can have a look at them and play with them and uh, see what you think. The mods I got for this game, obviously I've got from the um, from the main menu. There is a there is a mod section where you can download mods recommended from the uh, the developers uh, website. Uh, which are some of the best wads which have been out, um, been produced by the community. Uh, another fantastic site which is uh, Roma's pointed me in was the um, FSUK website, FSUK mods, which is farming sim UK mods. Great website, and the the mods I've downloaded are the the gold variety, which basically means the FS. UK team have um, tested it thoroughly and they've given it their mark of approval which you know those guys are they know their stuff so you know it's going to be a good product if they endorse it okay uh, got 25% full oh wow it's not the fastest combine in the world but it's, it's a cute little starter uh, I will show you um, my mods later Whoa. Hang on, let's just slow down. I was going to back to get that horribly wrong. There we go. Yeah, so I have downloaded other mods apart from maps. I have downloaded... Um, I've got my Ford tractors, because I love my Ford tractors. I said I would, so I have. I've got my Ford tractors. I've got the, um, the spray washer, <laughs> so we can wash... Um, our dirty tractors, because I know the Ford ones do get mucky. They've got that um, that programmed into the mod that you know over time they will get a bit grubby, which is fantastic. It just adds a nice little bit of realism to it. Um, and I've got a few other mods as well, which I've downloaded and stuck in there, which I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, I've got the historical pack as well, which is a free download. As I say, to get to get some of the best downloads and, and the free ones. You can get them from the website. Just, just on the main screen, hit the download section, and you go through there, and you'll see some of the some of the ones um, will be paid. You know, there'll be actual DLCs which you have to pay for, but there's a lot of mods on there which they recommend and um, which are, <coughs> excuse me, free to download, and uh, they're really good quality as well. So, ah, well, this is going relatively um, smoothly. I might just right. Let's just hire a helper on him. Uh, how do I get off? There we go. We've got the hired, hired help on him. Let's just grab a, or get, grab this tractor and grab the, uh, the tipper trailer to uh, get ready to unload the tractor. Uh, unload the combine, sorry. Oh, this is a, this is like a little go kart. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Right, oh, whoa. almost lost it then. Got a bit of a tank slapper on, and uh, okay. Well, we'll leave it here for now because the combine's going okay. Oh, he wants to be unloaded. Fine. 
I haven't downloaded Causeplay or Follow Me mods. Um, I thought I'd leave that for now. Let's just get some... Uh... Let's fill him up. Collect his seed, as it were. Okay. I don't know how much this tra trailer can hold, actually, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Um... Yes, so let's have a quick look at what I... Well, that's doing there. I know it'll probably pause it, but... Um... Obviously, animals and and stuff. So we've got the historical tractors, as you can see. We've got the Ford tractors. Oh, we've got a Fen tractor as well. We've got the Ford tractors, which I, lo I love this this pickup. Yeah, the front loader on that is fantastic. We've got the old standard tractors, which you get anyway. Um, yeah, and that's pretty cool. Uh, any front loaders? We've got the historical front loader as well, but we'll use the Ford one because I love the Ford one. Harvesters. I don't think I've downloaded any different new harvesters, so I might... Need to look at getting a new harvester in the future. Potato, beet harvesting. We get the historical grain uh, trailer, which is holds uh, four and a half thousand liters. The one we've got holds um, 5.23 meters squared. Well, that's great. Yeah, okay, great. Why can't it go in liters? I don't know. Oh, I can't do conversions this time of the morning. Uh, so we got yeah, we got basically we've got the historical. Uh, stuff as well so that's pretty cool no no placeable mods and yeah usual stuff so I haven't I haven't downloaded too much as you can see I've left it pretty much vanilla with um, well I say vanilla I've got the um, the more realistic mod on and I've got a couple of um, download mods as well so yeah we'll see how we go um one thing we can do let's let's just detach that for now because he's empty and he's going to be doing that another Four or five passes before you even have to worry about filling him up again. Let's go and see how much this is. This is the standard everyone does. They buy this little field here, then they link the two fields up, then they buy that field over there. This is just it just seems to become the standard about how we do things. Let's just see how much this field costs. Twenty-four and a half grand. We have just enough. Uh, do we want? We probably don't want to. Port Cuisine. No, deny. Okay, we need to turn them off. Because... That'll just annoy me. Um, okay. So we... Although we have just enough, we could sell everything... What I'll probably do off-screen, I'll probably sell all the grain we've got in our silos. And then, we'll probably get that field. Because we need, obviously, some money in the bank. Stop. Um, didn't mean to do that. As we don't, how much is a baler? Just uh, off the top of my head, I don't know. Let's have a look at balers, 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 plows, fertilizers, sprayer, manure, slurry tanks, mowers, windrowers, tedders, loading wagons, baling technology. What the heck is that? That is a historic baler from. Far. And that costs nine grand. Now is that square? We can't afford the 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 massive ones. So I'm guessing for eighteen grand we could get bales and we could get a bale collector. Ooh. I don't think it's worth it this time. No, I think the field would probably be better value, wouldn't it? Um. Yeah, I don't know. We won't, we won't go bales yet. We will we'll hold off getting animals. What I will do, uh, I haven't part, I haven't done that very well. Let's get a front load on there. Oh god, I can't drive this tractor at all. Oh my god! Yeah, wow. I know you probably don't have to plow in this game, but we're going to do th things properly, and this is a more realistic mod, and oh my god, this this is like driving a yacht. It's absolutely all over the place. Right, we'll leave that there for now. Um, good god. That handles like, as I said, that handles like a blooming oil tanker. That's horrendous. I have to get our little Fords because, oh my god, look, I can't drive these. I cannot drive these. Let's 
Let's go and unload him. We yeah the uh, obviously they they probably altered the um, the steering on these to be more realistic as well, which just makes it. They've definitely slowed down the combines as well, haven't they? Because the combines used to be able to go at 100 miles an hour almost and still do the harvest. Come on! Come on! We're waiting! Oh, what's the horn? Uh, oh, I can't remember. We're not close enough. Okay. Whoops! We're losing some! We're losing some! We're still losing some. There we go. Okay, the match speed with the tractor or the combine doesn't really work. Alright, let's just let's just wait here then and fill up. Is that it? Oh my goodness, twenty foot Wow. There isn't much in the way of uh there isn't much stuff coming off this field, is there? While we're doing that, we might as well start the ploughing then. Uh, so... Lower plough, V. Forward! Wow, is this tractor not strong enough to pull the... Um, or do we need it? We might need... Let's go and get the bigger weight on the front. It could be a bit awkward if we can't plough. Let's, um... Let's... Wow, this tractor is awful! My oh, god, you can see our... Look, look. Our, our, our money already is, is going downhill. Let's just connect that up. There we go. I don't know if that's... That'll help. Ah, oh, actually, I've just noticed something. These tractors have all-wheel drive, AWD. Ah, yes, maybe I need to put that on. Yeah, that, that that's probably it. <laughs> it's probably a minute of you all going, You idiot! Put your all-wheel drive on! Are you stupid? Yeah, well, clearly. Clearly, yes. Oh, dear, dear, oh, dear. This is a cracking start, isn't it? As I said, I haven't played this for ages, so please... Don't be... Why... All wheel drive on is asterisk. Boom. There we go. That's better. That's that's the kitty. Real way. Oh goodness, that's embarrassing. Good god. All wheel drive. Yes, must remember that. That's why I've got the little thing in the top um, left hand corner with all the keys on it, because Obviously, it's a, it's a bit different from the um, agricultural simulator, and I as I say, I haven't played this for about six months, so it's uh, I do know it. I do know the game. It's just I'm just learning. Uh, uh, a, I'm I'm learning this more realistic mod for the first time. Um, B, I also have to try and remember how to play the damn thing as well. So turn plow. B, excellent. It doesn't really make a bit of difference when you're doing this, but I like to do things properly. Whoa, look at that. See, it just... Yeah, even with that big weight on the front, it's bouncing around like a bad one. Does it create a hole? No. See, the good thing about the Fords, preaching on my lovely Fords again, is the fact that, uh, yeah, if you do a plough, it then, when you sort of... If I'm doing like this, driving with my um, my wheels just in the groove, they'll actually the, sp the, sp the suspension will adjust to make it look like there is a groove, and it just helps you so much more uh, when you're ploughing. There we go. Oh, we, look, obviously we ploughed some of the grass away, rather than the fields on that side, so that's fine. Let's just get rid of that loose straw as best we can. Right, this this might really be the best case for a uh, higher driver doing the ploughing. Wow, 
uh, because I don't like this tractor one bit. It's it's probably realistic, but it's really bouncy. You know, bouncy is normally good, but when you're ploughing, it's 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 a it's a pain. Right, let's hire a driver. Oh, I hadn't. Oh my god, how embarrassing! I hadn't unfold the plough. Oh, good God. Let's just, I'm just going to walk away from that. That was a blooming disaster. Oh, let's leave it to the professionals. That's what I say. Oh, good God. How embarrassing. <laughs> I'm never going to live that down. Oh, bring back Agricultural Simulator. All is forgiven. Good God, man. You're an embarrassment to the farming community. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry about that. It's been a while. And it is early morning. Well, I say early morning, it's almost 11 o'clock, but it's been a long week. Good God. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. There we go. There's beautiful. Look at that. Poetry in motion. Whoops. Uh, combine. Unloading with a tractor working in the background. Plowing up all the uh, all the stubble. And I know... Well, I don't know for certain, actually. I know usually on the normal game, you can't... Oh, let's just unload this trailer for something to do. On the on the bog standard vanilla version of this game, you can just cultivate then seed. You know, with no no difference uh, when it comes to your let's put our beacon on. With absolutely no difference when it comes to our uh, yield in in the, in the summer. So with the new realistic mod on, whoa, the brakes on this thing are shocking. Is this a tipper or is this a side tipper? I can't remember. It's a side tipper. Okay. All that lovely wheat. Yes. So. Whoa. This tractor. Oh, God. I'll have to go and get a Ford because I don't like this. One little bit. I know this is start recruitment, so it's, it is supposed to be a bit rubbish. But. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, so as I was saying, yeah, the um, the vanilla game, you can cultivate seed without any impact on your on your um, crop yield. But I'm guessing because this is a well, I'm not just guessing. I also want to do it because it's a more realistic mod. I also want to do the um, the ploughing as well. Well, when I say do the ploughing, I'll leave it to the professional over there to do the ploughing. Uh, I don't know if it will. Well, maybe we'll do an experiment to see if that will. That has um, made an impact to the uh, the yield in this this version of the more realistic version of the game. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a little trial probably once we got a bit more cash. It's a bit we're a bit short on cash to do any too much experiment in right now. But I like to do the plowing anyway. It's more realistic in my own mind, if nothing else. Good God, this combine's taken a while. Probably not a wise idea to stand here, but yeah, it looks quite thin, doesn't it? It doesn't look like the best yield. Doing a grand job, doing a grand job. Get our face covered in dust. All this lovely straw, can't use. So have they added in so if you have a quick look, look, you can see what I was talking about with the prices. So, for example, um, where's the best one? Probably, hmm, yeah. So as you see, wheat prices, the best we got is 238 at the inn. Barley uh, is around 180-ish, or 220 at the mill. Canola... 431 at the mill, so canola's um, get some money on canola. Corn, yeah, it's around the 200 mark, but 99 at the mill because obviously they're not looking for that. Potatoes, around the oh, 78 for potatoes at the inn, and sugar beet, 
the best looks to be the freight yard at 47. So the prices aren't great, and that's what they mean. I think that's part of the realism uh, in this game. It's going to be a lot more challenging to make any decent cash. So, um, uh, what have we got in the um, in the stocks? Actually, that's it. A little think about that. Um, finances, no. Statistics, yes. So we got 6,000 litres of wheat, just under 5,000 of barley, 2.5 of canola, 4.5 of corn. Oh, 1,200, 1,200, 200. So 12,200 litres of potatoes. Oh, great. And 25.8, oh, so 25,873 litres of um, sugar beet. Wow. I didn't see that much in the store. That's quite impressive, isn't it? Um, oh, yeah, obviously we've got no animals yet. We got well, we got cockerel, but that's not going to do much. Um, so yeah, I will off screen. I will sell all those at the best price I can, uh, and then at the end of the next episode, or the end of the next episode, at the beginning of the next episode, we'll probably look to buy that field over there and maybe get ourselves a Ford tractor as well. Um, I'll get a front loader one so we can do some front loader work should we need it. Might also get a historical cutter. Uh, harvesters, no, we need a mower. Mower. Mow, 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 mow. Where's the mowers? Mowers. So look, for two grand, we can get this little um, cutter. Stick it on the back of that old tractor we've got on the, um, the yard. Uh, the old tractor we've got near the cedar and uh, we're going to park it down near the golf club and then we can take some golf club uh, missions to cut the grass and um, hopefully make some money that way um, but yeah we're it's doing okay he's probably got another one or two one or two passes let's get out of the way what do you reckon two passes yeah it's going to be two passes oh you missed a bit you're going to miss a bit oh no you're not all right, I'll shut up. You know better than me. Good God, he's yeah. See, it's a lot slower because yeah, I think you can only go five or six miles an hour now, rather than um, previously you could just go full chat, couldn't you? So what we'll do, we'll leave him go, leave him go, uh, and then spin around behind him. And so, hopefully, park there. That should be perfect for when he comes back. Actually, I might just go and catch him up and actually take over. Through <coughs> the smoke, or oh, through the smoke, through the dust. On, on we go. Right, sack him, so to speak. Uh, now B. Now two, more we'll to take over. I mean, look at the wheat. Six hundred. We're getting hardly anything off this field. This is this is very poor. So they've obviously lowered the, not only lowered the values of, you know, the monetary value of the grain as well. They've also looks like they've lowered the, the yield, or it could be that it was just a really poor yield to begin with. We'll have to figure that one out. Right. Here we go. Cool, look at that. Look, that's, that's a mean old blade spinning around. Look, you've got like, um, you've obviously got the... I don't know, what do you, what do you call those? The, uh, the spinning bits. <laughs> Which actually... Pull the wheat in. and But it's the, it's the, it's the little... The, the silver spikes right in the front. Wow, it's spinning like crazy. And obviously, that just try and cut and process the uh, the top of the the wheat into the um, into the body here, where it's threshed and all the uh, the seed and stalk are all separated. But yeah, it's uh, it's an incredible machine when you think about it. Even this this old rust bucket of a cruddy one. It's um it's still quite impressive machines. And although this is a little cruddy one which can't take much, um it still does the job really well. 
Right, pipe out. Oh, oh, squeaky pipe. Need to put a bit of oil on that. Clonk, clonk. Just try not to hit the back of our trailer. We're not having the best of days anyway, so... Uh... There we go. Oh no, a bit further forward. There we go, let's... Spurt our seed out there. <laughs> Sounds absolutely revolting, but you know what I mean. Oh dear God, I need to get more sleep. Okay, three, two, one. Empty, pipe in. No, that's the shop, sorry, wrong button. I press P rather than O. Right, let's stick this bad boy. I don't know, let's stick her, stick her under the um, undercover just in case it rains. I don't know why I always tend to park my combines in, in this one we're coming up to here. I don't know, this always whoa. Do you see that? Almost did a donut in a in a in a combine. Beep 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 beep. I thought I'd add that in there for um safety reasons. Right, he's ploughing, let's go and dump this. Okay, and I'll leave it there, guys. So we've harvested our first field, and we've got our matey over there, ploughing away. And we'll probably get that cultivated and seeded next time out. And we'll probably look to get the other field as well. As I said, I will sell all this stuff now. Uh, we don't need it, so I'll sell it. And, um, yes, and... Um, I'll let you know how we did, how we got on at the end of. Uh, at, I keep saying at the end, at the beginning of next episode. So, this has been Farming Simulator. I've been Taff and Exile. I hope you enjoyed this. As I said, this is. Um, let me know if you want to continue on this map with the realistic settings, or you'd rather have a look at the, the um, the old brook map, uh, with the pigs and everything. Um, let me know, and uh, I'm quite happy to um, start all over again. Well, I say all over again. We've done. We've done what? 30 minutes <laughs> so it's not a huge loss if you want to start on the other map uh, but let me know either way and I'll be happy to continue going forward anything you'd like to see mods etc then let me know obviously money wise we may be struggling to actually purchase said mod but um, I'll see what we can do going forward and I'm more than happy to uh, have a play around as I said I'm still going to be doing ag agricultural simulator when that comes back online um, but until then, we're going to do a bit of farming sim, just to keep us occupied, to keep us busy. So uh, we, we don't lose any farming skill, as it were. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.